Hey YouTube and Commando fans. So after a lot a lot of time I've got Vest 7 done. So check this out. So um trying to zoom out there. Not too successful. Um in Vest during the making of Vest 6 I had made these full size mag pouches and they were too big for Vest 6 so I decided I wanted to use them anyway. And so I've made a new vest that allows them to be used. Um, again, like vest 6, it's a single layer of mesh. Um, but I just resized it a bit. This is actually closer to vest 4, I think. 4, 5, whatever. Um, the one with the vinyl pouches. So they are full size as well. But they're made of that, um, yeah, the vinyl material, the uh, vegan leather, whatever it is. And so these ones are the proper camouflaged um, canvas. So the only real difference, apart from proportions, I took a lot of the um, sizing from that Hot Toys 1 6th scale John Matrix with the vest off it, actually measured it. And that should have helped me plot this one a little bit better. But what I did want to show you, because these are so freaking cool, is I'm going to just set this tripod down. These are the proper Group 5 uh, leg clips. Now check them out. And you just, if you want to, it's, you know, when you're wearing the vests, obviously it works better when you are wearing the vest. But if you needed to ditch the vest, just pull that clip up and the D-ring drops off. So what's inside it is a little, if you can see that, a little tongue. So as you pull that lever out, it uh, actually ejects the, um, ejects the ring. And then to reattach it, you just um, put them through and clip them on. So as long as that closes again, they're secure. And um, then to eject them, drop off such a, a cool thing um kind of makes me wonder because i mean that these are the same lead clips that were actually used on the vest in 1985 it makes you wonder uh, exactly how old they are so this is a surplus um stock found on ebay and the guy wouldn't ship them to australia so good mate in uh, the US got them for me and mailed them across so be nice it would have been really cool to be able to get the proper d-rings i'm still using my laser cut parts but what i've done now is i've um, sanded and rounded filed them all off nice and round and smooth now and they're just nicer to um, the touch they don't have any sharp edges or and they don't look like a a laser cut part anymore which is kind of cool um so yeah with me bandoliers i've had to I've really curve this up because there's a big gap between on the screen used vest and the top of the shoddy shell bandolier where the grenades sit uh, if you look at my vest six the grenades sort of cover half of um the shoddy shells i'm hoping this will be a, a lot uh better but the um sorry man, my brain is fried i've been going all day um when you look at the shoddy shell on the actual screen used vest it's curved and it kind of makes sense because at the end of the day if they've done the same thing where they would have had to curve it so that it doesn't block off half the armpit um because this part is just too big physically to fit in this space so by curving it only thing I, I did sew it down on group um, vest six, but I haven't bothered today. I just um, just wanted to get this done, and I went and then get this video shot. Um, I may in the future. I don't know. Um, I the other thing I didn't put on this vest is those two backpack clips, but I've never used them on any other vest, so I probably won't bother with this one. If I do, it's just simply going to be for an aesthetic. Um. But yeah, overall, this is really, really cool, and I just wanted to um, get a quick video out showing that it's done. Um, 
I'm going to wrap it up there for now. I'll keep it nice and short. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.